Hey everyone, I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at the Freedom Off-Road 2-inch leveling struts loaded with brand new springs and top mounts available for your 2007 to 2018 Silverado 1500 at home. Now, you guys should be considering the Freedom Off-Road options for your Silverado if you're looking for a turnkey, ready to install package that will level your rig and make room for a set of 33 by 1250s, also improving the ride quality in the process. So big features to consider here will be the complete ready to install package right out of the box that will replace your stock high mileage front strut and spring with a brand new combination that will ultimately make room for a larger wheel and tire. Again, in this case, we're gonna recommend sticking with a 33 by 1250 uh, without trimming, and that is dependent on your offset. Now, this ability to run a larger tire is made possible thanks to the Freedom Off-Road Kit, of course, that raises that front end two inches, making for a clean leveled stance that also improves your ground clearance in the process. Now, as an added bonus, guys, by upgrading the front suspension with a more performance-oriented design here, the ride quality and handling will be improved both on and off-road. Now moving into construction and the Freedom Off-Road Strut and Spring Combo will feature a pair of nitrogen charged shocks with a durable mono tube design along with a 40 millimeter internal piston. Now me personally, I like mono tube dampers for off-road applications as they will offer a more consistent performance without as much cavitation or shock fade that you might typically find with a cheaper twin tube design. Now from there, Freedom Off-Road also includes brand new springs and top mounts, all assembled, ready to go. And of course, we can't forget about your hardened bushings down there at the mount end. Those guys aren't gonna flex as much and that will also help increase performance off-road. Now, finally guys, the struts are finished in kind of the silver zinc coating here or silver hammer tone coating. Uh, it's gonna keep things looking good for many years to come. While the entire kit, by the way, is backed by a limited lifetime warranty in case you run into any defects. Now, right around 300 bucks for the pair, the Freedom Off-Road Leveling Struts would be a somewhat affordable solution to leveling your ride using what is called a leveling strut. Now, these guys are gonna be right in line price-wise with other semi-entry level options from companies like Rancho and Rough Country. But if this is even still a little too pricey for your budget, you could always consider the even more affordable puck style spacers that can be found for around hundred bucks, if not less here on the site. If you're unfamiliar with those, basically it's a, in this case, maybe a two, two and a half inch spacer that does mount to the top of your factory strut assembly. Now, one thing to keep in mind though, yes, you will be getting that additional front end height, but you're not really getting any performance or basic upgrades out of those puck style spacers. Uh, so this is a nice compromise to keeping things affordable while still seeing some performance improvement over your stock stuff. Now, if money was no object on the other hand and you wanted to go with a very high end kit, you certainly have some options there on the site to choose from as well. One that jumps out at me is the Cognito Motorsports option. Really, really nice equipment guys, but again, those kits are gonna land you closer to 1500 to 2000 bucks at the end of the day. So it really just boils down to budget, uh, what you can afford and what you're comfortable with spending. All right, last but not least, let's move into the installation portion of our video here today. Site's gonna call this a strong two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. They call it about an hour, I would say, at very least to complete from start to finish, and that's if you're hustling. Uh, but one thing I will say again, the fact that these are a complete replacement, they're pre-assembled right out of the box, simply means all you have to do is yank out your stock assembly and then replace it with the new Freedom Off-Road option here. Uh, so to give you a better idea of just how this all looks at home, Let's check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. Tools required for this install include a couple of different size impact guns, a hammer, 10, 15, and 16 millimeter swivel sockets, 21 millimeter deep socket, 15 and 16 millimeter wrenches, 15 and 18 millimeter ratcheting wrenches, and a pry bar. What's up guys? Today we're installing a set of front struts on our Silverado. First, we're gonna watch a quick uninstall video showing you how to remove your factory struts and I'll meet you right back here for the install. All right, let's kick off the uninstall here. The first thing we wanna do is remove the brake line brackets and the ABS line brackets so that when everything's loose and at full slack or full droop, it's not putting pressure on these lines. There's a 10 millimeter right here and a 10 millimeter right there 
grab your 10 socket and get those two off. Now what I like to do, just so we don't lose the bolt, is just thread it on a couple of threads right back in the hole while the bracket's loose. That way we know where it is. Same thing back here. Take that bracket off. I'm just gonna lightly thread it back in, just like that. All right, next up we're gonna loosen up the top nut for our sway bar end link. In order to do that, however, just because there's not a whole lot of room to work with, I'm gonna put a 15 millimeter wrench on the nut on top and use my 15 deep socket on the bolt going through the bottom and that'll loosen it up. And just like that. Now you don't have to take the entire end link straight down, just wanna grab that nut off the top and if you can, take the bushing off as well and just set those aside. All right, next up, we're gonna loosen up and remove our tie rod end. Grab your 21 millimeter deep socket and get that guy off. All right, now something to keep in mind here is that if you take this off, then this whole thing's gonna start moving. What I'm actually gonna do now that it's loose is just put the tie rod end back in and just put this in a couple of threads. We're gonna want this to be pretty stable for the rest of the uninstall, um, at least up until the point of the upper control arm coming off. So let's just keep that there for now. Next, we're gonna be loosening up and removing the nut on the bottom of our upper control arm where the ball joint connects to the hub here. Now, in order to do that, you're gonna grab an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench. That's at least what I recommend because there's not a lot of room here. And this is where we want the stability of the tie rod end because we don't want this thing moving back and forth. So let's crack this guy loose. All right, now once this is loose, what we're gonna do is take the nut completely off and then thread it back in a couple of threads. All right, so it's on a couple of threads there. Now we can grab a hammer and start tapping on the side to dislodge the ball joint. There it is. So now that we have everything loose, let's take our tie rod end completely off. I'm just gonna put this nut back on so we don't lose it. Now we can swivel this guy out. We're gonna push down and remove the nut here. Okay, once this nut is off, I'm gonna set that guy aside. This upper control arm is gonna pop out, so you just wanna be there to support it. Make sure the lines are out of the way, and now that's free. Now we wanna remove the two bottom strut bolts. They're 17 millimeters. Keep in mind, once these two guys come out, the entire lower control arm is gonna drop down, so just watch your head. The next step here is to remove the top three nuts. They're 18 millimeters and then the entire strut will come out. Before we can do that, grab a panel removal tool or something similar. There are these little clips holding onto the front stud and then the one closest to the front of the vehicle here on our driver's side. Just gonna pop those guys off. Same thing on the opposite side as well. So once you have those off, grab an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench and get those three off. Okay, once you have all three off, the strut will drop down and you can take it off. Okay, set it aside. Now when it comes to the uninstall, you can repeat that exact same process on the other side. So now with our factory strut removed, we can install our new one. I'm gonna get our studs through our upper strut mount and then get our nuts started. Next, we can take our new lower strut bolt and slide that up through our lower control arm. And then thread on our nut.
Next, we can go back up top with a 15 millimeter ratcheting wrench and tighten down our three nuts. Next, we can grab a 16 millimeter socket and 16 millimeter wrench to tighten down our lower strut bolts. Next, we can reattach our knuckle to our upper control arm. I've got a pry bar to pry this down. You want to make sure that this ABS wire is in front of the ball joint. And then we can pry down and get our nut on the back side. Next, we can grab an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten down our nut. Next, we can reinstall our tie rod end and thread on that nut. And then we'll take a 21 millimeter socket to tighten that down. Next, we can reinstall our brake line and ABS line bracket. And then we'll take a 10 millimeter socket and tighten these down. Now at this point, you can repeat the whole process on the other side to catch up. All we have left is to reinstall our sway bar end link. You wanna make sure that you do these together. We'll get it threaded in and then tighten them down together. If you install one on one side and tighten it down, you won't be able to get your end link in on the other side. So now we'll slide our end link into place, slide our bolt through, and pull down on the sway bar end link and reinstall your bushing and your nut. Now at this point, you can install your end link on the other side. I've already done this off camera, so I'm gonna grab a 15 millimeter socket and a 15 millimeter wrench and tighten this down. And then you'll do that same thing on the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Freedom Off-Road 2-inch Front Quick Lift Struts for your 2007 to 18 Silverado 1500. Thank you for watching, and for all things Silverado, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.